Good morning. Today's lesson is 11.5. Our essential question today is what is a unit cube and how can you use it to build a solid figure? So let's investigate. You can build rectangular prisms using unit cubes. How many different rectangular prisms can you build with a given number of unit cubes? So a unit cube is a cube that has a length, a width, and a height. So here's one unit cube. We have a face and we have an edge and vertices right there, right? So a unit cube is a cube that has a length, width, and height of one unit. A cube has, it has six square faces, right? Here's the faces. One, two, three, there's one on the bottom, four, one on that side, five, and then one on the back side, six. All of its faces are congruent, and it has 12 edges. So if I were to count the edges, that's these right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and they're on the back. It's kind of hard to see, but if you had a dice, you'd be able to count the edges. Let's look, it says build a rectangular prism with two unit cubes. Think, when two unit cubes are pushed together, the faces and edges are pushed together to make one face and one edge, because you're gonna have to kind of cover one of those up, right? So how many faces does a rectangular prism have? And the answer to that would be six. Now. How many edges does a rectangular prism have? And again, the answer to that would be 12, just like we saw above. Now, the next step says, build as many different rectangular prisms as you can with eight unit cubes. So, I have the cubes in the back. You can utilize those. Record in units the dimensions of each rectangular prism that you built with eight cubes. So, here's some of the things that you probably could have done, and hopefully you're doing them right now. But if I have my eight, I can have an eight, by one by one. I could have a four by two by one. I could have a two by two by two, and so on and so forth. So with the eight unit cubes, you should be able to build three different rectangular prisms, right? Because you could have your eight just lined up like this, by one by one by one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or I could do four, one, two, three, four, and I could do that two deep, right? So that's how I'm building it. Or I can do it two by two by two. Actually, I just did the two by two by two. The four by would probably be like this, four by four. And then it's gonna be kind of hard, but you would just connect another four right here on top of it. You'll see when you link them together. So this is actually the two by two by two. This is the one eight by one by one. And then this is the four by two by one. Explain why a rectangular prism composed of two unit cubes has six faces. How do its dimensions compare to a unit cube? Well, <clears throat> one face of a unit cube completely covers the face of the other unit cube. And both are on the inside of the prism. So the prism has six faces. The rectangular prism has one dimension, and that's two units rather than one. Mathematical practice. Explain how the number of edges of a rectangular prism compare to the number of edges in a unit cube. Well, the number of edges for a rectangular prism and the unit cube are the same. Should be 12 edges. Again, with the mathematical practice. Describe what all of the rectangular prisms you made in step B have in common. Well, the rectangular prisms that I made in step B are all built with the same number of unit cubes, eight. Let's make some connections. You can build other solid figures and compare solid figures by counting the number of cubes. So here's one right here. Figure one is made up of one, two, three, four, five, six unit cubes. Figure two is made up of one, two, three, four, five unit cubes. So figure one has more unit cubes than figure two because figure one has six and figure two has five. Now, they want you to use unit cubes to build a solid figure that is not a rectangular prism and share your model with a partner. Describe how your model is the same and how it is different from your partner's models. I have some cubes in the back of the room that you're welcome to use to do this. Um, but you're, you should indicate how your solid figures are built with the same number of unit cubes, but they're different figures. And the cubes that I have in the back link together and 
um, different ways. So you should be able to build lots of different kinds of cubes with those 12. All right, count the number of cubes used to build the solid figure. The rectangular prism is made up of, well, so this is the rectangular prism. It has one, two, three cubes. So we're gonna write three cubes, three unit cubes. Let's do a couple other ones. Let's actually do this one right here because it's a little bit harder. So you have to visualize that there's a row down, whoops, there's a row down here and there's a row behind it and a row on top and a row behind it because this is a three-dimensional shape. So there's one, two, three, and there's one right behind this making it four, five, and there's one behind it making it six, right? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you should have 12 unit cubes. Okay, let's do a couple of the homework problems. Right here, let's do, let's do this one. So this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight unit cubes. Now I want you to pay close attention to number three because it's that same one that we did earlier where you have this layer on the bottom that's the same as the layer on the top. So let's do the layer on the top. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means there's eight of them underneath as well, and eight and eight is 16 unit cubes. So you're gonna do the rest um, either on your own with a partner or you can meet me on the carpet. Good luck.